friends welcome to my channel this is another video on how to create your portfolio website i previously uploaded the same video but that wasn't clear and there was confusion so i decided to recreate it and i hope it works this time but before you get started with your portfolio please make sure you have all of your files ready and saved in one folder so you can access them whenever you need them now let's get started with the tutorial as a junior designer, I don't want to waste my time creating my portfolio website from scratch. And that is why I love Wix, because I also don't want a boring portfolio. But Wix allows you to create stunning and responsive website without needing to code. And its templates are just amazing, which you can customize based on your style and content. You can select what kind of templates you are looking for. Since we are working on our portfolio, these are the portfolio templates. You can view these templates before starting to edit it to confirm if it has everything that you want in your portfolio. It's okay if it doesn't have everything. If you like the theme, you can later edit, adjust, arrange, add any elements that you want with fix, drag and drop interface. So this is the template I'm working with right now and these are the tools that allows you to add elements, manage pages and change site designs. This is our home page. You can adjust pages and menus here in this section. We have dynamic pages and site menu in this template. Dynamic pages are a feature that allows you to create a single page layout and populate it with different content from a database collection. But for now, we don't need dynamic pages so we'll delete this and keep our website simple. Now the first thing is to replace this with my name, edit the title and add a short bio. Your bio should have a clear introduction that summarizes who you are, what you do and why you do it. If you have no idea what to write in your bio, you can take the help of ChatGPT or get an inspiration from other designer portfolio. So I asked ChatGPT to write a sample bio of a UX designer for a portfolio. This is the answer, but I think this is too long, so we'll keep this for a profile page and write another short bio. This is the bio written by ChatGPT. It says, I am a passionate UX designer with a focus on creating intuitive and delightful digital experiences. Now this is good, but make sure to edit it because ChatGPT doesn't know you. So make sure the information is correct. Now I will add a column here where I'll add my photo. To adjust the column proportions, select layout and then adjust the numbers. Now let's delete this text and add a photo here. To add a photo here, go to add elements, then upload image and select photo that you want to add here. Now adjust the placement of your photo and you can be creative here by adding you know, frames or simply removing the background. So you can later add different backgrounds just to make it look different and more creative. You can even add different shapes to the background. Just go to add elements, decoratives and shapes. Then select the one you like, add it to the page and adjust it with your photo. Change the color and add shadows if you want. Make sure to save your website, change the name and connect it with your domain. So I forgot to tell you about this one. This is a pinned element and this stays fixed on the screen regardless of scrolling. Now second most important thing on your homepage is the project section. But first we'll create separate folders for each of our case studies and upload all of the files to save time. This template already has a project section and they have added a gallery to showcase their project which is linked with dynamic page and content table. But we have deleted the dynamic page so I'm going to delete this gallery as well and just add a simple strip. Now change the cover image and add brief about your case study. Please remember to be consistent with the text, color and style throughout your page. After adding image and title, add brief description of your case study. Wix also has AI text generator and based on your input it will generate descriptions but do not copy this blindly, make sure to edit it and add correct information about your case study. Then add button which will be linked with your case study page. 
You can even add small details which makes a lot of difference such as timeline of your project or what platform you designed for or if that was a client work or personal project. Now add one more page for your case study which will be linked with the button. Rename the page and follow the same steps for your other case studies as well. You also need to showcase your resume so let's add resume button and you can link this with either google doc which will be easy to update as and when you edit it or you can upload the document and then link it with the resume button. I've mentioned previously to maintain style consistency that's why I'm replacing these buttons. Now let's talk about shape dividers. These are elements that separate different sections of a website with geometric shapes such as curves, waves, angles or circles. They can help to break the monotony of rectangular blocks and add some dynamism and creativity to the layout. You can even showcase your additional work such as your graphic design or any other projects that you have worked on. Since I have mentioned photography, I am adding photos that I have taken. To add that, simply go to add elements, then go to gallery and select whichever template you like and then start replacing the images with your work. As you can see, there is no space between these sections which make it look cluttered. So we'll add space and I've changed the color of the shape divider to match it with the next section just to maintain continuity. Then you can add text to let the viewer know what the next section is about. You can even be creative by adding vector images from Wix gallery. To do that, you simply have to go to add elements, decorative and then to vector arts. So our first page is almost ready. You can click on preview to see how it looks so far. And the final thing on your home page is contact details. So edit that, add link to your social media and then you'll be done with the first page of your portfolio website. Now let's edit your profile or about page. First we will change photo and then edit the text. For this I'm simply going to copy paste from chat GPT and then later edit the information. Please know that I am copying from ChatGPT only for the tutorial purpose. Do not copy paste the exact same thing. Next you can add services which is linked with content data where you can add reference to your project. If you don't have any references you can simply remove this and keep the text. Similarly, you can add important clients that you have worked with. So that's it, our profile section is ready. Now let's edit case study page. First, add one more section on the top where you'll be adding a hero image, which is basically few important screens of your design. Now let's start writing your case study. If you have done Google scores, you might have your case study ready. So you can simply copy paste it from there. Now this is the list section which we will be going to cover it later and please remember to rename each of your sections based on your content so that we can anchor link it later. Anchor link is a hyperlink that allows you to jump to a specific section of a web page. I've already shown you how to use Wix so you can take the help of Wix library and all of the elements to make your case study look interesting and interactive.
Now simply adding these images looks boring and also texts are too small to read. So you can go to image settings and click on what happens when image is clicked and select it opens in a pop-up. When you are adding wireframes, please remember to mention what each image is about. So for your final designs, you might have already conducted a usability study using your lo-fi wireframes. So here you have to showcase difference between the screens before conducting usability study and changes that you have made after conducting usability study. For your prototype, instead of adding link, you can add prototype page. Simply go to add elements and then select embed code. Then go to your Figma prototype page, click on share prototype, then click on get embed code, then copy and paste it here. Once you finish writing your case study, Add one more section thanking your reader or viewer to check out your portfolio and add one more section where you will be linking your next case study or whichever project that you want your viewer to see next. Coming back to list section, here you will be adding all of the content that is there in your case study and anchor link them. Make sure to underline this text so your viewer knows that this is a link. To add a link, simply select the text, click on link icon and go to section or anchor and link them with the sections they are related to. Click on preview to check if these links are working properly. So our website is ready. You can save and publish and check if everything is working properly. The final step is to edit mobile site. You don't have to do much work here because most of the elements are already adjusted. All you need to do is final checking and see everything is in proper alignment. Once you are satisfied with your design, you can publish it and scan this code to see the published website on your mobile. So that's it for this video. I hope it was clear and useful. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment section and I'll try to answer them in my next video. Bye!